Hi guys, and thanks for tuning in. Welcome to your global GMO live guide. In this brief tutorial, I want to take you through a few of our databases, which we have provided for you. If you are using an iPad, um, the boxes on this page may appear sort of different. They may be ordered differently, but just know everything that I'm showing you should be available on your screen as well. Please notice that I also have my EasyBib account open and running. I am logged in. I've created a new project. So as I go through all of my sources, be they books, databases, or websites, I'm going to constantly be dropping those citations into my EasyBib project. So back to our databases. First things first, Britannica and Worldbook, you guys should be familiar with these. I strongly suggest using them for some solid background information, especially if you're not all that familiar with your topic. What is biotechnology? What are transgenic plants? Britannica and Worldbook will give you solid factual foundation. But the other databases are the ones that I really want to get into in this tutorial. Facts on Files, Issues, and Controversies, ABC Clio's Issues, a couple provided by EBSCO, and a couple more provided by Gale. These are the databases you can do a little more specific searching, so let's go ahead and try it out. We'll start with Facts on File, and the first thing I want to share with you guys is if you conduct a search anywhere, whether it's online or in a database, and you're not happy with your results, please don't be discouraged. I've searched GMO in Facts on Files, Issues and Controversy, and I got three results. What? Well, let's think outside the box, type in a few more terms. Um, let's try genetically modified organisms. Maybe the database uses different terms. Okay, 10 results, a little bit better. But just at a glance, I'm noticing that issues and controversies uses terms like genetically modified food, genetically modified crops. So let's see what happens when we speak their language. I'm going to conduct one last search, genetically modified food, and I've gotten 35 results. Okay, so now I know how to speak this database's language. I want to draw your attention to the fact that you can sort your results by relevance, oldest to newest, newest to oldest. I kind of like my research to be a little more um, current, so let's just see what we've got. Look, stuff from April 28th, April 27th, April 25th. Oh cool, the EU approves first new genetically modified crops since 2013. This happened just a few days ago. So if I get into this article, I read a little bit about it, I'm absolutely loving it, awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom and copy my citation. Remember for databases, we do not need the URL. I'm just gonna hop over to my EasyBib account open up my GMO project, and this is where I'll go to cite my websites, my books, and in this case, my database. Database, copy and paste, remember that rhyme? And create citation. Boom! This is what you do throughout your research. Please, please, please don't save this till the end. If you realize that you're not going to use a source, it is no problem at all to simply delete it from your project. All right, so let's get back to our databases. That was Facts on File Issues and Controversies. ABC Clio also has some good information. I just want to draw your attention to one really neat feature. Within their Perspectives tab, you can sort of browse through and see the different um, topics that this particular database focuses on. And if I scroll just a wee bit underneath Science and Technology, I see a whole section on genetically modified food. Now, within these databases, please do keep up with your options in the menus, sometimes on the left-hand side and sometimes on the right. So I've got a need-to-know section, ooh, and related entries pops up. Reference articles on cloning and food, genetic engineering, Monsanto, that term's going to pop up in your research, transgenic crops. What the heck are those? I don't know. Let's find out. So I'm loving this article. What do I do? I copy and paste my citation. Back over to EasyBib. This is a database. Copy and paste. Paste that in. Hooray! All right. 
So again, please keep up with your options in the menus. Please continue citing. I want to take you back into a few other databases that we've provided for you. Like I said, we've got a couple from EBSCO. You'll notice their interfaces are very similar. This is searching specifically Green File, and we also have one on Academic Search Premier. And just like with Facts on File and ABC Clio, the EBSCO and Gale databases are great for linking your search terms. So I'm going to try that genetically modified food again. And let's say I'm specifically interested in what's going on in Canada concerning genetically modified food. So I'm going to hit search. Here are my results. Again, I can order them by relevance if I want to see the newest ones first. And I can also limit my results. I've got 147 results here, but they date back to 1997. Well, let's say I'm really only interested in what's been going on in the past decade. So I can drag this thing over. It'll automatically update my results. Let's go into this first article. How about them apples? So this is my abstract. Again, keep up with your options in the margins. To actually read the whole article, I need to get into HTML full text. Sometimes EBSCO will provide you with the PDF version. They're both going to give you the same information. So here's this article. I'm loving it. Remember, in EBSCO, your citation option is on the right-hand side. It'll give you a whole list of different types of citation formats. We use MLA, so I'm going to want to scroll down till I find that, copy it, and transfer it over to EasyBib. Database, copy and paste, paste that in, and whenever I see stuff in all caps, I just fix it a little bit. That looks better. Create citation. Okay. Hang with me, I've just got one more database to show you. Finally, our two databases offered by Gale, Global Issues and Context, that should look familiar, and Opposing Viewpoints and Context. They'll give you very much the same information, it just kind of depends which interface you prefer to work with. So I'm going to conduct one last search. Let's try genetically modified crops. Let's try something new. Cool. Now what's so awesome about the Gale databases is it's very, very easy to see the different types of results your search has yielded. So we've got viewpoints, 127. Four results for statistics. We've got images, reference, magazines, um, audio files, news, and take a look at where this stuff is coming from. The New York Times, African News Service, the Australian. So this literally is giving you global viewpoints, global news on your topic. We've also got websites, which I'll show you in a bit, but I want to show you a really, really neat search feature. You can search for a particular country, in this case, since you have to look at different countries for this project, within all of your results. So You'll notice towards the bottom of this menu on the right, search within results. So let's see what we've got on Australia. And it's narrowed my viewpoints down to 16, okay? So within all of these results, I will get information about genetically modified crops in Australia, okay? One last thing I wanted to show you, I'm just gonna go back to my original results. Websites will usually be toward the bottom of your results page. So if I click here, I'll get a list of all of the all of the website results, excuse me, that opposing viewpoints and context thinks is relevant to whatever my search term was, genetically modified crops. So I can click on one of these. Opposing viewpoints and context will give me a bit of information, but it also provides me with a direct link to that website. Now, the websites that you can search, they're not only within this particular database, Global Issues. I've also provided a link back on the Live Guide page to websites, giving you little tips to search Google, a few more websites to search here, but you should have no problem finding excellent sources within all of these tabs, websites, databases, and books. Please, please, please use books on the Live Guide page. So good luck with your research, guys.